Landing just in front, Canal in from Gold Bullion on the outside, who's a long time away from the track. A bit of a break then as Zaidi meant boy can't offer any more the final flight. It's still Canal in from Gold Bullion. Over the last goes Canal in with a widening advantage. A mistaken second by Gold Bullion. And on the outside is Zaidi, but it's Canal End for five lengths clear. It's going to be the perfect return for Mark Walsh as Canal End makes virtually all to beat Zaidi and Gold Bullion well clear of the fourth. Landing just in front, Canal in from Gold Bullion on the outside, who's a long time away from the track. A bit of a break then as Zaidi meant boy can't offer any more the final flight. It's still Canal in from Gold Bullion. Over the last goes Canal in with a widening advantage. A mistaken second by Gold Bullion. And on the outside is Zaidi, but it's Canal in for five lengths clear. It's going to be the perfect return for Mark Walsh as Canal in makes virtually all to beat Zaidi and Gold Bullion well clear of the fourth. In third place and gaining on them is Animix. One fence left to jump. Ferens Lock from Billaway on the near side. And then Animix and Ferens Lock's been picked off by Billaway. Here's Animix from an impossible position. Was way out of it up the far side. And Animix has come racing through from last under Charlie Mullins to get the better of stable companion Billaway as Animix wins from Billaway. 1-2 for Winnie Mullins. In third place and gaining on them is Animix. One fence left to jump. Ferens Lock from Billaway on the near side. And then Animix and Ferens Lock's been picked off by Billaway. Here's Animix from an impossible position. Was way out of it up the far side. And Animix has come racing through from last under Charlie Mullins to get the better of stable companion Billaway as Animix wins from Billaway. 1-2 for Winnie Mullins. Ferens Lock disappointed in third. Allegory de Vassi over on the far side gets the long time leader and stable companion Onsti clear of Limerick Lace, Broomfield Hall. Onsti is finding on the stand side of Allegory de Vassi is going to have to dig down deep and made a mistake. Allegory de Vassi gives the advantage back to Onsti. Allegory de Vassi has got weary and driven clear. It's Onsti upstaging her stable companion Allegory de Vassi by eight lengths. Allegory de Vassi over on the far side gets the long time leader and stable companion Onsti clear of Limerick Lace, Broomfield Hall. Onsti is finding on the stand side of Allegory de Vassi is going to have to dig down deep and made a mistake. Allegory de Vassi gives the advantage back to Onsti. Allegory de Vassi has got weary and driven clear. It's Onsti upstaging her stable companion Allegory de Vassi by eight lengths. Limerick Lace third, fourth, Broomfield Hall. Quick fire double for Willie Mullins, but not in the order expected. In between the final two fences from Hal Safari, routine excellence followed by Charlie Stout, but the leader with one fence left to jump is Gander Coase and Fidel Melvin up and over from Hal Safari, routine excellence, Charlie Stout and Unfreak Moore inside the final 150 yards, and it's Gander Coase. And Fidel Melvin winning by a good three and a half lengths. Rudy next in second. Hal Safari third. In between the final two fences from Hal Safari. Routine excellence followed by Charlie Stout. But the leader with one fence left to jump is Gander Coase and Fidel Melvin up and over from Hal Safari. Routine excellence. Charlie Stout and Unfreak Moore inside the final 150 yards. And it's Gander Coase and Fidel Melvin winning by a good three and a half lengths. Rudy next in second. Hal Safari third. Charlie Stout in fourth. It's Western walk the leader. Coast to the front in between the final two in the Iron Age Stallion Owners EBF Novice Handicap Hurdle Series final. And it's Western walk over the last and clearing away from Seabank Beaster who landed flat footed and then added his own grave head in place in Desert Moor House. But it's Western walk who is running away with this three miler, is winning easy down under Michael O'Sullivan. Verd in place has pinched the second from Seabank Bistro. It's Western walk the leader. 
coast to the front in between the final two in the INH Stallion Owners EBF Novice Handicap Hurdle Series final and it's Western Walk over the last and clearing away from Seabank Beach to who landed flat footed and then Ari de Zongre Verdon Place in Desert Moor House but it's Western Walk who is running away with this three miler is winning easy down and to Michael O'Sullivan Verdon Place has pinched the second from Seabank Bistro Desert Moor House and had it as hungry. Monbeg Park on the outside is Haran Suderi as they come down to the final flight. The pitcher is changing, it is Riss Bell taken on by Monbeg Park. Haran Suderi, Magna Glory, the final flight. Monbeg Park, just the leader from Riss Bell, Haran Suderi and Magna Glory inside the final 150 yards locked together. Riss Bell on the inside of Monbeg Park, precious little between them, and it's Monbeg Park edging it from Riss Bell. Haran Suderi in third. Monbeg Park. Park. On the outside is Haran Suderi as they come down to the final flight. The pitcher is changing. It is Riss Bell taken on by Monbeg Park. Haran Suderi, Magna Glory, the final flight. Monbeg Park, just the leader from Riss Bell. Haran Suderi and Magna Glory inside the final 150 yards locked together. Riss Bell on the inside of Monbeg Park. Precious little between them. And it's Monbeg Park edging it from Riss Bell. Haran Suderi in third. In fourth place was Magna Glory, big win for Brian Lawless and Monbeg Park for Sean Doyle. And Q today's ass come back to the front with Tiger Bay Queen coming from last with a rapid move and it's Tiger Bay Queen who shot to the front from Q today's a Miss Augustine Theatre native and then West End victory but it's Tiger Bay Queen and Jamie Codd quickly putting this listed in total enjoyment mare's bumper to bed as is Tiger Bay Queen completing a very good afternoon for Peter Fay and Q today's ass come back to the front with Tiger Bay Queen coming from last with a rapid move and it's Tiger Bay Queen who shot to the front from Q today's a Miss Augustine Theatre native and then West End victory, but it's Tiger Bay Queen and Jamie Codd quickly putting this listed in total enjoyment mare's bumper to bed as is Tiger Bay Queen completing a very good afternoon for Peter Fay with wins in the first and last. Miss Augusta, Q Deza, Theatre native for second, third and fourth.